What is going on miners and welcome back to the Hobbyist Miner channel. So a uh, quick update as to where we stand. Our, our big rig, our monster rig we call it, uh, we're currently up to 12, 13, 14 graphics cards on one rig, on one motherboard. Um, and I wanted to focus today uh, about uh, how you go ahead and configure Hive OS to support this. So these aren't all AMD cards, they aren't all NVIDIA cards. We aren't even mining all of one thing. Um, so let's go over it from a high level and then we're gonna jump to the computer and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I'm doing it. So on the top rack here, we have 12 total cards. There is 11 RX 470 Sapphire Nitros and we'll see if we can just look down here. You can see some of them in there. Trying to do the best I can to give you guys a view. Uh, we are going to move these fans here in a future video. Not quite yet, though. Gotta love the uh, GPU risers right there. GPURisers.com. Love, love those GPU risers. I actually want to get more of those. I actually need to order more of those. So, there's 11 RX 470 Sapphire Nitros in here. So, that's AMD. There's one right here. 570. Um, these are all four gig cards, so we're not mining Ethereum on them. So then down below, we have one XFX RX 588 gig card that is actually mining Ethereum. These are mining Ravencoin. And then we also have back in here an NVIDIA card which is a PNY 1650 four gig card that is mining Ravencoin. So we have an AMD mix, we have an Nvidia mix, we have a Ravencoin mix, we have a Ethereum mix. So we got a little bit of everything in here. So this can get a little complicated when it comes down to configuring Hive OS. It's not super easy. It's not as easy as you think. But once we go through it, I think you're clearly going to understand it. Um, so let's go ahead and jump over to the computer and discuss exactly how we are currently configuring this 14 GPU rig for mining Ravencoin, Ethereum with Nvidia and AMD. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive in and take a look at Hive OS. So we've gone ahead and jumped into Hive OS. We've done a ton of different configurations over the last 24 hours. Um, so uh, go ahead and excuse some of the up and down statuses that you see here. So let's go ahead and look at the top portion of the screen right now. So our, our rig is called Frankenstein. That is a very good name um, for it. Uh, I give myself kudos. I came up with that myself. Come on now. Um, and uh, you can see right away, we get a little warning here about four gigabytes. So as soon as you go ahead and do anything with Ethereum, this warning comes up. Um, we're, we're not doing anything incorrectly. It's just a, a default that they have there. So let's read this here. Um, Team Miner, Ravencoin being mined to my Exodus wallet on the two miner pool, mining the Kapow algorithm at 160 mega hash uh, is how that's set up. Uh, now, as you can see, we are filling slot one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So those slots are currently being occupied by my 470s and my one 570. So they're mining um, around 13, sometimes 14 mega hash there. On the next line, T-Rex miner is mining Ravencoin. Uh, it is mining uh, to our Exodus wallet on two miner. It's running, uh, mining the Kapow algorithm. Now, what you don't see here is this is actually my NVIDIA PNY 1650, which is around 12.67 mega hash which is actually pretty good um in regards to the fact that it is lining up very nicely almost closely to our rx 470 and 570s finally we are running nb miner and we're mining ethereum to our exodus wallet on the hive on pool and we're mining about 30.94 mega hash currently uh, and that's how that's set up so let's go ahead and scroll down here 
So you can see all of my cards that we just went ahead and went through. This is one rig that is currently um, mining all of these cards currently as you see them here. So let's go ahead and go through this. Let's talk about what we have currently mining and we'll go from there. So in slot zero is an RX 580, eight gig card. So we're mining Ethereum on that. So as you can see, GPU zero right up here. Okay. RX 470 slot one, two, three, four, and five. Then jumping over the slot, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, which is what we're doing up here. Okay. So, but slot zero here, they're calling it, which is really wonky because it's NVIDIA. They, they slot them depending on if it's AMD or NVIDIA. Slow so slot zero for NVIDIA is our GeForce GTX 1650 Super uh, is what that is. I didn't mention Super earlier, so I want to make sure that I specify. So that's giving you a rough idea as to our configuration. You can see all of our hash rate here. You can see our temps. You can see our wattage, which is pretty good. Um, our top wattage here is on that 570. And I, I have videos out. If you guys aren't familiar, I'll put a link up there comparing the 470 and the 570 and why overall the 470 is a better card for mining. Um, I do have a video out there. I'll put it in the upper right hand corner and I'll also go ahead and put a link down below. A lot of it comes down to the wattage uh, that is necessary. So let's go ahead and uh, jump and look at our flight sheet. And this is what's most important here. This is the bread and butter as to how you mix these cards and you tell what cards to mine. So those of you guys that are new miners, your flight sheet determines, it's like an, a set of instructions is what your flight sheet is. And so the flight sheet tells what miners to mine what. So looking at our first configuration here, this is for team red miner. So this is all of our four, our four seventies and that one five seventy. This is the top area up here. So if we go ahead and edit this, this is what it looks like. It's one, it's three different miners in one flight sheet. So the top one here, team red miner, we set all of our settings up, but now your question is, okay, great. So you set the, the coin as Ravencoin. You told them what wallet to, to mine to, you told them what pool, and you told the system what miner, but how do you exactly say what cards? Well, what you have to do is click set up miner config. Now, tread lightly in here. It gets a little complicated, but I know you guys can do it. So underneath of extra config arguments, you hover over top of the information bubble. And as you can see, minus D list of comma separated device IDs to use for mining. So what this does is this is an extra layer of instruction to say, hey, team red miner, I want you to go ahead and only use the team red miner miner itself and, and that individual setup for cards one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12, okay? So we're telling it exactly what to do there. Now we go ahead and I'm going to hit X here, not go into it. So we've told Team Red Miner only mine on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. It's, it's a little off here in that config, but um, it works out nicely. So then on our second one here for T Rex Miner, let's look at that one. So this is AMD, okay? We're now swapping to T-Rex Miner because T-Rex Miner is NVIDIA. Team Red Miner is AMD. So I can't use Team Red Miner for my NVIDIA PNY 1650 Super. I have to use a different miner, which is T-Rex Miner. So in T-Rex Miner, we are saying, now it's a little bit different. You have to read the bubble. It doesn't use minus D, it uses devices. So it's using devices and we have set it to zero, which if you take a look up here, this remember we talked about that one amd card that is zero some of these are off don't base your numbers off of this area up here you want to actually base it off of this numbering here so um if you take a look this is you know we talked about team red miner one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve now we're talking about t-rex miner it's nvidia only you can see that it's gpu zero so now if we go back into here there it is, devices zero. So we've told so far our RX 470s and our 570s to be used by Team Redminer. 
we've told our 1650 Super NVIDIA to use T-Rex Miner to mine Ravencoin. All those cards are for gig cards. So now let's talk about Ethereum. So we have a separate Ethereum wallet. We're using the Hivon pool. We're using NB Miner. Okay, so we do setup miner config. And in here, it uses a similar configuration, uh, um, which is devices as well, which you can set here. Now, you might go, well, why are you using zero? Well, what card is AMD driven that's zero? Our 580 8 gig card, which can mine Ethereum. So we've gone ahead in here and we are mining Ethereum on there. Now, once this is all said and done, we've gone ahead and we've set our overclock settings, which the overclock settings are the same way, guys. You go ahead into configuration. So for my NVIDIA cards here, I'm using this configuration, okay? If I swap to AMD, I'm using these configurations. So it's completely separate. Now, here's something to keep in mind. I guarantee you the first time you apply this and you go through this, you're going to make a mistake. It always happens. It's always within the flight sheet. It's always with the numbering of your cards. So take your time when you're doing that. Finally, here's my warning. When I boot this, I almost have to, and I've, I've only booted this a few times here. Um, you know, it's been up for 15 hours right now. So when you boot it, Sometimes I need to boot into Hive OS and stop all my miners. And then I need to start one miner at a time, let it kick in, and then start the next miner at a time, let it kick in, and then finally the last miner in the time. A lot of people steer clear of building monstrous builds like this. And our goal is 19. We are aiming at 19, guys. Our, and right now we're at 12, 13, 14. Our goal is to get to 19. The more cards we add, the more complicated this configuration is going to be. And a lot of people steer clear of it because of the complications that you run into. But if you take your time and do it right, it's not so bad. So after you apply this, you may reboot your machine and you may find it's not working and that like Team Red Miner is, is getting a red, you know, red error logs and stuff like that. Take your time. Stop the miner. And the nice thing is here is take a look. When you go up to the uh, miner actions, you can now ch um, stop and start your uh, based off of the miner itself. So when I reboot, I may set it to stop miner and stop all my miners, get Hive OS up, and then start one miner at a time until it's successful. It's a little wonky. Um, it, I would say going with something as complex as this and growing this um, definitely has its caveats to it. Um, it's challenges to it, but at the end of the day, this is a lot of fun. I can't wait. Um, my next card I'm going to be adding to this, if you guys are curious, is another NVIDIA card. Uh, it is the EVGA GeForce GTX 1060. Um, so we will be going ahead and doing that right in here. We'll be coming in and we'll be going into uh, T-Rex Miner, which is where we'll be doing that. And we'll be going ahead and adding a one in after the zero. So you do like a zero comma one. Uh, and then we do have to go ahead and set the overclocks as well. So I'm excited to go ahead and now take this to 15 cards and keep this going. Well, hopefully this was an informational video for you guys. It's really funny. I wanted this video to be like five minutes and now we're at what, 12, 13 minutes. But hopefully this was super helpful for you guys, especially you beginners. I love beginners because guess what? I'm a beginner. I started in February, guys. I started with my first rig, six GPU setup in February. Now we're in April. We are still beginners, but guess what? Just like the title says, we are growing, we're learning, and we're mining. Well, guys, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys want to talk more mining, more shop with me, uh, I do have a brand new Discord community, which is growing like crazy. If you guys are interested, I'll put a link down below. Feel free to go ahead and join us. I am in there every day, all day long, as much as I can, chatting with the community. We have a ton of new people joining every single day. If you guys enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. That allows the YouTube algorithm to recommend this to other miners that are in the same situation you are. 
Let's spread, let's spread the knowledge, man. Spread the knowledge. Let's educate each other together. Finally, guys, if you guys enjoy my content and you want to see more daily mining content, please go ahead and smash that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time.